Hello scholars. So this week we're going to be reviewing the three elements of art, which are color, shape, and line. This project's gonna include all three elements of art. Before we begin, we're gonna write our names on the paper, on the top of the paper. And the paper is going to be horizontal. Flip it over. And for our project today, we're going to be using the shape of a circle for our caterpillar. So I want to draw a head for our caterpillar. And the head is going to be big. So I'm just using the shape stencil, but I'm just sh showing you the different variety, different types of circles that you will be drawing. So you're drawing a medium circle first, that's number one. Then you're going to be drawing a smaller circle next to it. Circle number two. Circle number three is smaller. So we have three. Now we're going to draw a smaller circle. Even smaller circle and the tiniest circle. So here is the caterpillar. And the caterpillar now needs to have some ears. So you're going to do a curved line on the top with a small circle. And another curved line with a circle on the top, which those are the ears. Now here are the legs. Line. Circle. Vertical line, circle. Vertical line, circle. So we're drawing a lowercase b shape. And one here. Now I am going to draw the eye, and the eye is going to be oval shape. Oval shape eye with a half circle inside and a half and a half circle on the top with a half of a nose and a curved mouth. Now for our caterpillar, we need a branch so the caterpillar can walk on. So the branch is going to be some curl, some wavy line. You want to make sure that the wavy line is directly under the feet. And then we're going to make the same line under it. Same line under it. And then we're going to make some leaves. The leaves are going to be curve shape. So I made four leaves. And now I'm going to outline using a black marker. You don't need to use a black marker. If you have crayons, color pencils, you can use those as well. And if you don't have black, you can you can use a uh, brown, gray. Uh, blue or purple. 
Okay, and I'm just making sure that everything's outlined. And see, I'm just taking my time around the circle. That's one. And sometimes you need to erase the excess lines that, that you missed when outlining. And here is the third circle. So, so far we have created six circles, five legs, a branch, and some leaves. So, so far we've used line and shape for our projects this week. And it's okay if you do a little bit mistake. because mistakes can always be fixed in art. I just made them, I just made them thicker now. So if you are using a marker, you can make the lines thicker if you make a mistake. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, you want to make sure that the circles go from medium to tiny, not not tiny, uh, small. Medium to small. And now I'm on to the outlining of the branch. And the branch is a wavy line. So you're drawing one wavy line, and then below it, you're drawing another wavy line. And now outlining the leaves, which are curve lines, and inside of the leaf is as well as a curve line, or you can make straight lines, which are vertical lines. Now I'm going to erase the excess. Now we're on the coloring part. So now we're learning about color and what colors make up the primary and secondary colors. So I'm going to choose green for the head. I'm going to outline, and I'm using marker. You can use color pencil or crayon. So we have green. See, I'm just outlining the section. 
kind of having white spots and that go outside the line. And then you color inside. And this is green, a primary or secondary color. We learned about this at the beginning of the school year. Give you a moment to think about that. If you said that it's a, it is a secondary color, you are correct. Green is a secondary color. The next color is blue. That's the next color for the next circle. And this color is this color a primary or a secondary color? I'll give you a moment to think about, to think about it. If you said that primary is, a, if blue is a primary color, you are correct. And you see that there's six circles. So that means that there are three primary colors and three secondary colors. Purple is our next color. And the question is, is purple a primary or secondary? If you said purple is a secondary, you are correct. Green and purple are secondary colors. I'm going to fix my little mistake here. Make sure that, the, that everything that you color is colored in nice and neat and inside the lines and there's no white spots. The next color is red. The next color is red. So look, I'm just outlining inside of the circle, not coloring everything just yet, making sure that there's, and I'm coloring inside of the circle, not outside of the circle. You want some neat, neat, nice drawings. Is red a primary or secondary? If you said primary, you are correct. Red is a primary and so is blue. The next color is orange. The next color is orange. Is orange a primary or secondary color. If you said secondary, you are correct. Secondary colors are green, purple, and orange. The last color that I'm going to use for my caterpillar is yellow. Is yellow a primary or secondary color? If you said primary, you are correct. Blue, red, and yellow are primary colors. Now I'm going to color the branch brown. If you don't have brown, you can use black. Uh, you can use red, orange, usually barks are different colors, they could be a different variety of shades of brown, or they, they sometimes have a mixture of brown and orange and red. So if you don't have brown, you can use orange and red, like I just said it, like I just said. 
You want to make sure that there is no white spots inside of the area. And I'm going to re-outline this bottom line here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because some of the color did get outside the line. So if that happens, you can re-outline the line, just like how Miss Romeo is completing it. Okay, now I'm just going back in and checking. You want to make sure that you're that you're checking to see about the color because we don't want to have white on our branch. Now I'm going to take my green and I'm going to color the areas first. of the branches and this part is green you can make you can make them fall leaves as well with orange or red and yellow if you want to be creative and now here is the part you're going to take your pencil and actually no you're not going to take a pencil you will take a you're gonna take a marker, if you have a marker, or black crayon, gray crayon. Um, you can take a, anything that's dark. So purple, well, let's not do purple for here. Anything that's dark that will show up. And this will be your shapes and lines. So for, for the green, I'm going to make little V lines for a line pattern. So this is talking about lines. And now I'm going to make diagonal lines for my blue. So now we just finished about color. Now we're moving into lines and how to use lines in art. And now we're gonna do some curved lines for the purple. Okay. And for the red, I'm, I'm going to make circles. So this is shape. And try to space them, space the, the, the circles out as best as you can. And then I'm for the orange. I'm gonna make squares. So this is also shape. And like I said before, space out your shapes. See that there's still some orange showing and for the last one i'm making some zigzag lines and for the final i'm going to create a sun using a marker you can use a crayon and I'm going to make a sun with a yellow circle and some orange lines and see that I'm using shape lines and 
to make a smiley face. And then I'm going to make some, some clouds using the blue. And this clouds you can make with lines. One. So we have a horizontal line and three curves. and we're going to make three clouds you can call them in I'm not going to call them in I'm going to make some, some raindrops using curve lines so I'm making three here so we're making a sun shower now you don't have to do this part I'm just adding extra I just want everyone to, I want you to focus on just the caterpillar and the branch to show line, color, and shape. This is just some extra stuff that you can do. And then on the bottom, you can add some grass. So for the grass, you can, you can add some lines using your crayon marker color pencil and the lines are all together. So look, Making lines going up and down, 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 up and down. See, I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And they look like, like zigzag lines. Down, up, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. And just keep going with the pattern up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, until you get to the end of the paper. And then you can color in all the white spots on the bottom. And that is it. Here is the the element of color, line, and shape all in one project.